Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is create PowerPoint slides with your pen. I've often said that PowerPoint is an amazing presentation tool, but it's the worst place to create a presentation. If you've ever tried creating a PowerPoint presentation, then you've probably experienced quickly getting distracted by formatting, alignment, backgrounds, images, and slide layouts. Now those things are all very important, but they're not important until you know exactly what the point of each slide is. You can usually tell when people do all of their work in PowerPoint because their slides are usually carefully aligned, they're well formatted, but they're overloaded with information that they read to you point by point as if you can't read yourself. So before you get into formatting and presentation, there are more important things that you need to address. Planning, brainstorming, outlining, and storyboarding is essential to any good PowerPoint presentation. And until now, PowerPoint has not been the right tool for this process. The best tools for planning presentations are Microsoft OneNote and Whiteboard. The spatial nature of these programs and their pen focus lends itself to these deep thinking tasks. So if I'm going to create a PowerPoint presentation, I personally always start it in OneNote. And if I'm working with my team, then maybe Whiteboard. But recently the Office Inc team has done some interesting work in PowerPoint that makes it viable to quickly outline a simple PowerPoint slide with your pen. Using the right click button on the side of my pen, I can lasso select the words that I've written and convert them to text using this lightning bolt icon. Now that I've converted these words to text, the PowerPoint slide designer that comes with Office 365 pops up and it gives me some suggested slide layouts. If the bullet points that I've written line up with some of the handy inbuilt PowerPoint icons, you'll see that PowerPoint adds these as visuals to my slides. Now this is a fairly basic and limited scenario. If you're working on a more substantial presentation, I'd suggest that it would still be advantageous to go and outline it properly in OneNote or Whiteboard first. But there is a little bit more to this tool. One of the cool things that I've found is that it not only allows you to convert text, but also shapes together with text. So if I want to draw out a simple flowchart, here I can select it all at once and using the little lightning bolt again, I can convert it all to proper shapes and typed text. Give it a try and tell us how it went in the comments below. I really like the direction that this is taking and I hope that Office keeps on investing in ink. Any feature that makes it easier for you to convert your ideas directly from your creative thinking tool, your pen, into presentable communications is a step in the right direction. So I hope that those features help you to get started with using ink in your PowerPoint presentations. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips. On my slides to a fully fledged, fledged, sorry, to a fully fledged, fledged, I did it again. <coughs> I know that that's going in as a blooper.